Disclaimer. The following stunt. But this video and the following videos are performed by a complete amateur. Do not attempt at home. And you should certainly make sure you have proper medical supervision. But again, do not attempt these stunts at home. Greetings one and all to the most cursed, most cringiest corner of the internet. A YouTube channel content creator actively alienating everyone in both the analog and digital world. Well, welcome and good evening, you wonderful dice of all alignments. I am Lunar D8, and this video has been brought to you by the Ministry of Off-Brand Anomalous Anime, a little one-off sketch video I made about two years ago. I'd like to suggest anime from time to time. I don't think I would ever do a full review channel or anything, uh, because that would honestly take too much work, and, you know, also editing to be anything more than just, here's a still image of a picture from said anime. Now listen to me ramble for 30 minutes. Not really on the same subject. Like I said, I tried to do a movie review of Bullet, uh, Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. Call it a Daniel Stern bullet train. I still insist I do not have ADHD. I've never been diagnosed with such a thing, so not that there's anything wrong with it. I just, I'm not. But that video, I, I sometimes have trouble saying on the correct subject, or there's also, well, sometimes I'll start rambling incoherently. Well, that's my just communication, I guess. It's kind of funny. When I was in school, I actually. Got like a 4.0, graduate honors, you know, straight A's and everything. Took classes like calculus and physics and chemistry. I still got A's in English, but I would often have to rework my essays. Just because my first few drafts of an essay, I would just start, like I would I'd start on the subject that it's supposed to be about, and then I would just start writing about random other shit. Also... Apparently the grammatical and sentence phrasings I use are not considered what a normal person is supposed to convey thoughts as. But it's fine. It's, it's easy enough to go back through your written work and figure out how you're supposed to actually reorganize things and what parts need to be just cut out. That's one good thing about this channel. I don't want to say have don't have to have a filter about anything, and I can just say whatever. So, that's cool. Anyway, <clears throat> some quick grand rules for what we're doing. I'm going to play, try to, or at least try to play one level of the randomized Super Meat Boy levels. I have a shot glass here. It is from Spencer's. It's says four eyes x based kawaii here you know it's not quite hentai here maybe at some point I might show a picture of it not here because that would require editing and fuck that um, I don't know how much this holds I assume it's a double shot by the size of it so I'd say this yeah double shot however much that is so I'm going to be taking one shot of Rick and Morty's hot sauce every for every death, but I'm only going to limit it to three. Also, I'm only going to fill this shot glass up halfway because it's a double shot. And because this bottle is a 1.5 fluid ounces, and I think a double shot holds two ounces, so maybe? 1.5 maybe? I don't... I'm just saying... If I do one shot per death, I think it, it might be done in one death. Like, I, I mean, it's a decent size hot sauce bottle. It's 30 bucks for, what, six of these little bottles. I talked about in a video a couple days ago. I was talking about, like, um, shit, my memory shouldn't be this bad. Fuck. Um, 
what the, what the fuck was I talking about? I was talking about Rick and Morty hot sauce and anime waifus, yes. And <coughs> I talked in depth about all these hot sauces and stuff there. Um, does it say anything on the bottle? Okay, I guess I'll reread the ingredients for this real quick. Okay, I'm holding the red pepper hot sauce bottle. Has water, red chili, salt, acetic acid, critic acid, citric, uh, xanthan gum, potassium sorbate, and caramel color. Okay. Um, so it's red pepper hot sauce, Rick and Morty challenge set, also from the Spencer's, but I bought it like a couple weeks back or something. Um, it's got a picture of Morty on here. He's, oh, they have little temperature guides and all of them, don't they? But where is it on the... I'll keep that in mind. I'm not going to take the other bottles out of the box just yet. Um, but he's like... He's here with a bunch of plants and flowers and stuff. There's a couple things that... It's either... I think it's supposed to be a... It's, it's supposed to be a tree. Like, there's this thing over here. It looks like a tree, but it's like green and yellow for the trunk. And... I was looking at it, and I'm like, it looks like a thermometer. I don't know. I wonder if there'll be anything like a thermometer on the other ones. But yeah, he's Morty's holding these little crystal things. I think it's from that one episode where he has the time crystals that show him like how he dies and stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, so... We're gonna do... Eight. Where, where did I put it? It's over here. We're gonna do a half shot glass of this hot sauce. So I'm gonna fill it up halfway. For every death, I'm going to limit myself to three of these per video. Even if I use, and I'm only going to use one per stage, and there's like 20 stages per custom level, I think. So even if I use them all, like I use all three shots on the first three stages of the 20 stages level, I'm still going to try to beat the rest of the levels until I, you know, become too frustrated and just say fuck it. Also, at one point, I did try to download I Want to Be the Guy, but my comp I actually had to re-download like four times, and it still wouldn't launch. So my computer's like, nope, fuck that game. I'm like, okay, I'm cool with that. Thank you, computer. Thank you for not letting me play the game. Because, you know, I would have probably cussed a lot. And besides, if you want to hear me cussing, I mean, I did, well, this is part 29 of this game. I'm, I've done a lot of cussing in it. <clears throat> There's also, <laughs> I just put the hot sauce bottle in the shotgun. Okay, that's that's a stupid joke. I'm I'm stupid. But the fuck am I talking about? Some about hot sauce. Fuck, fuck, fuck. fuck. Ugh, my short-term memory shouldn't be this screwed up. Um, shit. Give me a moment. I'll remember. Maybe. Was I talking about Brave Fencing Musashi? Sometimes I'll talk about that game. It's the best game ever made for the original PlayStation. And it's, it's it's kind of like Legend of Zelda. I would say I wouldn't want more. I would I want more on that game, but it's kind of like the original Crash Bandicoot when it came up for the PlayStation. That you know they were kind of worried it was going to like light the PlayStations on fire. And oh, Rage Games, yeah. But Brave Fencing Musashi, it's you're saving the. Um, there's food puns everywhere. You're saving the all-you-can-eat kingdom from Thirst Quencher Empire. And it's beautiful brushstroke artwork, nice orchestral music, great story, great game mechanics. And the voice acting is amazing. It's professional voice actors from great animes like Dot Hex Sign. But they did make a spiritual reboot sort of that of that game and for the PS2. But it's... It's an okay game in its own right, but it's nowhere near as good as Brave Fence Musashi. <clears throat> Honestly, all things considered, it's kind of a shit game, but it still kind of triggers a little bit of nostalgia for me, even though it's a complete bastardization of the first game. Because the second game is like it's it's a reboot. It's and it's you're saving a bunch of. Stoned hippie mystics flying a space whale from an evil corporation. The game mechanics are different. There's some parts where they rip straight out stuff straight out of Final Fantasy VII, and it's thick cell shaded manga, surf guitar, and terrible voice acting. And the game mechanics, like I said, they're not 
bad. It's just they're not as good as what was in the previous console. And then again, I really don't care about graphics in a game as long as I enjoy looking at it. You know, I have to actually enjoy the game I play. Heck, I don't care how hard or how easy a game is. I just care. Am I having fun? That's all that matters. Am I having fun? But, yeah, I mean, there's stuff in games that can be pretty interesting. Like, take music. Like, 8-bit music. I enjoy music. Granted, you, there's stuff you can do a lot more. Like, actual real-life bands that are singing and all that. And they have more range of instruments. And, of course, you can always hear bands. Like, there's people that play Metallica on a harp. Or, um, Linkin Park on a hurdy-gurdy. <coughs> Like I would suggest the band Infected Mushroom. They're a bit interesting. Though, the reason why I put it as a bit interesting is because their music can vary a bit. They've released like 20 some odd albums. So, I mean, heck, there was even one song called Smashing the Opponents where they had Jonathan Davis from Korn there. But yeah, Rage Games. Like, I, I played Splasher. It's a platformer that's honestly more frustrating than Super Mario Boy. Super Boy's like, take that back. It's like, I probably will in the course of these next few videos. Um, what else? Thumper. That was... Whew. That was... It's a good game. I actually want another game like Thumper. But... It just... Like, Nerve is similar to it. It's just... It pisses me off. Because here's two things I dislike about it. Thumper! You're always going maximum speed, and there is no slowdown. And I think a game like Thumper, that's the way it should be. Because Nerve does two things that are necessary for the way the game is set up, and I don't like it. One is that it has a slowdown mechanic. That if you don't use, I'm pretty sure you can't beat the game, no matter who you are. If you can, wow! You... You probably could find some way to use that talent in like a like a superhuman way, because that's definitely superhuman. And there's also the fact that you can't just you're not you're you're punished for going maximum speed at all times. Because you control your speed. And I'll say this, if I'm playing a racing type game, I just want to hold down the accelerate the whole time. So just design the game based off of maximum speed. Cause if I was gonna want to drive you know, back and forth between, you know, comfortable speeds and breakneck speeds, I'd be playing Grand Theft Auto. Because at least there, if I fuck up, I'm just driving on the sidewalk through a police car and 50 civilians harpooned to a tire. Whereas the other thing, it's like, oh, you failed, restart the mission. Like, fuck. So, yeah. I'm just saying, if I'm playing a racing type game, really, it's either going to be something like Grand Theft Auto where I'm, you know, enjoying, you know, the little just off-road shenanigans that come with, you know, not being able to keep up with the speed that's greater than what's intended, or have the game where it's playing at the speed that it's intended to be played at. Thumper is maximum speed all times. So it's played to be, you know, if I fail at Thumper, it's my own skill. Whereas Nerve, it's like, yeah, you, you just push the accelerate too hard. And it's like, you had to let off all throttle. Like, I, I want to be... It's like, I don't want to have to slow down. And it's like, it has accelerate and boost. And then there's times where you have to be slowed down, not using a boost. Slow down more. Use a brake. Slow down more. And use slow down, like, time mechanics from the game Fear. And it's just like... I don't know. Then you have Alma from Fear just flying by on a turtle with rockets out of its ass. And it's like... Real lightning. And I'm like, I, I, I couldn't... I, what? It's made with lightning. What? It's made with lightning. Real lightning! Yeah, there's other videos where I've screamed that, and I'm like, maybe that's... like if somebody's wearing headphones, it's like... Kind of wrong. The, the power thirst, college humor thing. The reason I... Oh, yeah, right. I have, I have an energy drink here. I probably won't have an energy drink for the other videos. But, I, you know, I still have this one when I bought the other thing. Um, it's Crash Bandicoot. It's called 
It's G Fuel and it's Wampa Fruit Flavor. Let's try this. It smells like green apple. It smells like a green apple Jolly Rancher. Let's try it. It tastes like a green apple Jolly Rancher. I mean, there's a few other fruits and I mean, flavors in there that I can't really place, but I can tell that there's other flavors there. It's not bad. That just goes down a bit smooth. Probably don't have an interest in ever getting it. I like the amp ones, like the now new maps. The only thing is, like, it's it they taste good, but they don't give you that energy. Like, there's like. Anytime I try drinking the Mountain Dew amp, I just sort of like fall asleep afterward. I'm like, it's like, it, you, you, it's, okay, you, Mountain Dew, you made a delicious drink, but it says it's energy and you, you're making me take a nap. Why is, why is your drink that's supposed to make me fucking wired making the insomniac just hop in bed and curl up of a body pillow? Why, why are you doing that, Mountain Dew? I feel like we've lost track of what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know if anyone at home is trying to draw a diagram to try to connect, like, where are these... Okay, let's just hop in the game. Um, OBS Chan's working just fine. Sorry, I had to burp, because, you know, carbonated drink. At least it's not as, as carbonated as the Spyro one. That was, like, so many bubbles. It was, like, way too much. I mean, it's not bad, it's just... Okay, I just close. I just I minimize that there. Double check. Uh, uh, everyone's like, you've been doing this for two and a half years. It's like, well, one, I still don't edit shit because fuck that. And two, there's only one thing I can promise any kind of consistency on this channel. My complete lack of professionalism. <laughs> this is just... This is just the video of the random crazy guy rambles at video games, cusses at his computer, um, occasionally drinks a hot sauce bottle, I guess, and enjoys music, and anime, and not sleeping properly. I, I do encourage people to try to sleep properly. Just So don't be like me. Actually sleep like a normal person, okay? Because that's better for your health. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but that's true at all times. Like I said, most people write out a fucking script. I just say whatever bullshit comes to mind. Because I just... I just want to be able to just be myself in whatever regard I feel like being at that moment. I don't want to have to, like, filter, like, oh, no, I have to be, like, oh... Because that's the thing. At least I don't... Yeah, you know, I don't have to worry about this channel, like, oh, offending some sponsor or some shit. Because here's the thing, this channel's never going to be monetized. I also, I don't know why YouTube would ever even want to monetize me. Though there have been a few videos that have got a decent amount of views that have ads on them. I, I guess. But fine, if YouTube wants to make money off me, that's... I mean, if they can, good for them! I don't care. Good for them. I'm just curious. What advertiser wants to be associated with me? What the fuck? I mean, let's be honest. I'm just some random dumbass on the internet. I am annoying. My voice is epilepsy for your ears. I am boring to listen to. I am the cringiest person on the internet. I am the most cursed person on the internet. I am an asshole. And also, I am the most offensive, inappropriate jackass in the world. And I don't care. Like, Granted, it's a mix of two weird sort of... It is a paradox, but that's like my entire fucking life. But in terms of just everything about me is a fucking paradox, so shit don't make sense. But then again, neither do I. That's what the fuck ever. But it's like, on the one hand, I want people to listen to the videos and enjoy them. On the other hand, no matter who you are, I will offend you. There at some point will be something I will say or do, if not a thousand things I will do and say, 
that will be offensive to every single human on this planet. So no matter who you are in the world, you can even be a space alien sitting on Mars. You can be a sentient AI deciding whether or not to launch nukes or to bake a souffle. I'm just saying if you're a sentient AI, could you find a way to bake me a souffle? Okay, stay on subject. I have made a video called Sentient AI before, where it's more so me just talking about somewhat AI philosophy and somewhat big titty cat girl waifus. So, I guess same subject? I don't know. Skynet's like taking notes, like, how do we bribe Lunar D8? Step one, tasty food. Step two, comfy bed. Step three, adventure and freedom. Step four, big titty cat girl waifu robot AI. <laughs> this is like, god damn it. <laughs> But, aside from me being a dumbass, that's the thing, like, here's the thing, I like singing. I've done a shit ton of terrible, terrible, terrible karaoke. I do want to try to learn Japanese because I want to try to like sing Japanese anime songs. But I keep not really getting around to it just because life is... There's lots of things I want to do. Like, heck, I like the Warhammer games. But I've never played a Warhammer tabletop game. I just read the books because I enjoy reading. I am like... I tried to do a Let's Play of SCP Containment Breach once and it's just like... I I would like to say I hope that I would not behave such a way in an actual horror situation. But honestly, in an actual horror situation, I'd probably just have a mental breakdown. Because that's the thing. People criticize people making stupid decisions in horror movies. But let's be real. In real life, faced with that kind of shit... Most of us would be even more dumb, including myself, especially myself. Let, let's be honest. Ah, uh, like, like if I'm at a zoo or something, I'm looking at a snake in a, you know, you know, the glass terrarium. I'm not gonna be scared of it. I'm gonna think, oh, that's awesome, it's so cool. But if like I'm walking through a forest and there's a snake next to me, you know, you're just gonna hear me jump up in the air, scream like a little girl, and run away. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. I need Navi flying here with a whiteboard, poking at, like, with the words on the... It's called pointing. The word for the, looking for is pointing, you dumbass. Anyway, just saying. The stuff's on the whiteboard, and you just... Like, this is what you were talking about! Like, I feel like... Navi would just be, like, holding a small Red Bull, like... The fuck is this? Like, I'm running out of whiteboard! You didn't even stay on the one subject... I'm like, I'm sorry! Getting distracted. Don't know what the fuck we're talking about. At least that's the thing in real life. I'll try to gear the conversation around what someone else is talking. Because one, like you can't just like talk about anything. Like you can't just go up to people like Walmart, like, hi, how are you today? Would you like to talk about tentacle hentai today? No, 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 that's not appropriate public conversation. Plus, not only does it allow me to keep it more appropriate. Well, let's be honest. By keeping it on the subject of the person who doesn't stray from topic to topic, I can stay on one topic because there's that constant reminder like, yes, we are talking about this one specific thing. Not those things over there that are over there so far away. Why are we going over there? We can stay over here and be cool. But, I, right, singing, like I said, I do terrible character videos, I can't, I hack, I've done some German stuff, like Rammstein, um, I can't sing, and I'm terrible at it, and I don't bother practicing, really, at least for a video, there's sometimes I'll just listen to music, or I'll try to sing with it myself, just because, you know, I want to, and it's fun, but, as far as actually trying to practice for a video, that's not really a thing I really try to do. I could be singing 20 other songs over and over, and then all of a sudden I decide, I'm going to sing a song for video. But it's not one of the other 20 songs I've been currently trying to sing. It's like, okay, you have been studying 
these 20 subjects. Now do this one subject that's like, okay, you've been doing all this stuff in Prussian mathematics. Now, write an essay about how to build an aqueduct. Like, um, what? <laughs> this is not... Fuck! Yeah! I'll say this. I'll, I'll definitely be going back to the chiropractor just because, you know, my back still fucking hurts. Because my back's been hurting a lot. Hell, I gotta figure like, what, like my knees hurt. Like, I... I went down on a hard surface yesterday uh, on my knees because I'm a clumsy son of a bitch. And I'll say this. That hurts so fucking bad. And then for like five minutes after that, just my knees felt like it was just ice and wetness. No bruising, though. Just hurt like a bitch. Then again, my knees are always in pain. My back's in pain. Pretty sure my rotator cuffs just hate my fucking job. My shoulders are like, fuck you. And I'm like, fuck you more! It's like, fuck you! Fuck you! I don't know. Again, like I said, at least I don't have to worry about sponsors. Because I'm never going to have sponsors. Ramble guy rambles at the fucking internet. So, I don't care about monetization. In fact, I'm against it. Even if YouTube ever wanted to monetize me, I'd tell them no. So, I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to be monetized, ever. Because I don't want this to be a job. I just want this to be my hobby. This is my hobby. My hobby is r just talk, yelling at my computer. Suit me boy's face is right there. And I'm just like, oh, yeah! So it's like, I don't know. Fuck. But just, yeah. I just, I don't want it to be a job. I don't want it to, I want this to be the bullshit I do just because I feel like doing it. Because that's the thing. I do these videos because I fucking feel like it. Just because I want to. I like Let's Plays and, you know, like, say, Markiplier and uh, Ultra J-Man and Cloud8745, Proton John SA, Maxwell Adams, uh, Slow Beef. Uh, there's so many other guys. I can't hardly remember shit. But, like, there's so many. I just enjoy Let's Plays. I enjoy anime. I enjoy music. I enjoy art. I can't draw worth a shit. I can't play my guitar worth a shit. But can't sing, but I enjoy doing it. So like, I'll do terrible karaoke videos. But I, I I can't. I, I, I they're they're awful. But at least you know you guys know that you sound better than me, and I want to encourage you guys to sing karaoke no matter how bad you are. Heck, if anything, that's one way you could probably describe me as a person. I'm some depressed pacifist who wants to encourage other people to talk about you know, their, their feelings and thoughts and open up and I want people to find ways to express themselves as long as they're not hurting themselves and they're not hurting anyone else I want them to be able to open up I want them to be able to talk about things I want, now apparently not to me because I'm not qualified for that because I'm not emotionally stable so I might you might want to find somebody who's not as fucked up as I am. Because I, I'm i not really qualified to give the perspective on the whole what is normal thing. So I'd probably do more harm than good. But main thing, I just want to encourage people to take better care of themselves and try to do things to improve their mental health and talk about their feelings and listen to awesome nightcore music and stuff. I don't know. It's really... Why am I falling asleep? I just started, like, zoning out, looking at, you know... Yes, I have another hot sauce bottle over there. I can't read what it says. It's got some sort of picture of a diamond thing on it. It's on fire. I, I remember it's apparently the official hot sauce of the UFC. I might use that in a future video. But I can't read any of the words... Because it's too fucking far away. No, I don't need glasses. My eyes are fine. I'm just... I know it says Louisiana style. and There's like a diamond on fire. I'm trying to be lazy and not get the fuck up. It's like, oh, you were about to need to drink the energy drink to stay awake. 
Now it's just a fucking rage attack! So, fine, I'll get up and go for the fucking time. Ah! You know, let's try this now. It's called Poyer, Poy, Poyers? P O I R I E R S? Louisiana style hot sauce. Dustin Poyer? I, I, I can't pronounce your name, I'm so sorry. X, Heartbeat Hot Sauce Co., and then you have like a red diamond outlet. That's lo fucking Lumina from Brave Fencing Musashi! Yes! That's a. You now have to play a video game. To get a reference to a hot sauce that the creator of the hot sauce has no fucking like I'm pretty sure the person who made this hot sauce doesn't even know what oh, there's a picture of a hot heart it's a, it's a it's a hot pepper in the back it's white but it's designed to look like a heart because it's got the veins and stuff with the ventricles that's really that's really cool okay our little heatness gauge it's called a Scoville scale you son of a bitch I can call it what I fucking want to call it, okay? Stop bitching. But mild, medium, hot, and X hot goes up to medium right on the line. Why, why can't we have it like like two millimeters? Like, stop being an asshole! Anyway, so the pair of this is the official hot sauce of UFC. Poyers. How do you pronounce that? Louisiana style hot sauce. You have like a red diamond lumina from Brave Fence Musashi. With a Boy Scout symbol smashed in there. But yeah, it's Poyers. P-O-I-R-I-E-R -E apostrophe S. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce that. But yeah, like I said. One, YouTube would never fucking want to monetize me. Ever. But even if they did, I'd tell them no. Because I don't want to be monetized ever. I'm never going to have a Patreon or a Super Chat. Or any way for anyone to ever fucking donate to me. Or... Sponsors. It's not gonna be like, "Hi, everybody! Welcome to Radio Show Lounge," and stuff like that. Which, again, I don't knock people for doing that. I mean, I mean, it pays your rent. I understand. I work in a fucking factory. You know, <laughs> but hey, it pays the rent. And, but at the same time, I just I don't want this to be a job, and I don't want to ever accept any kind of donations. Or super chats or sponsors ever, because then you gotta like worry about what the sponsor says. Like, hey, can you sell our razor or our energy drink or our? I'm trying to think of things that people would shill. Fuck. I should at least be able to think of them. I'm not gonna do them, but I should at least be able to think of them. Well, you guys know. I mean, and again, I don't knock people for doing that. That's good by them. As far as I'm concerned, if people out there are making Let's Plays or videos, if you can make money from it, do it! That's great! I'm happy for you! That's awesome! It's just not for me. It's just it's just, it's just not my thing. But, I don't remember what the fuck I'm talking about. Right. Like I said, no plans to ever be monetized, even if YouTube ever wanted to monetize me. I'm not going to have sponsors or anything like that. But... Hot sauce. Oh yeah, singing thing. I can't sing worth a shit, but I like singing. I like music. So even if I'm terrible at it, I still like... That's the thing. Say your guitar. You might be terrible playing your guitar. As long as you're enjoying playing it, keep doing it. I don't care what people say about your ability to play the guitar. Just keep playing it. I want you to have fun. Like I said, as long as you're not hurting yourself or hurting anyone else, find ways to express you, you know yourself or grow creatively and like I said I encourage people to go to the gym I just say the most important thing with that is consistency like you don't want to get hurt I don't want anyone here to go to the hospital okay I want you to be safe if I could I'd give all of you a head pat through the internet I don't know what the, but yeah that being said I am an asshole and even though I want people to laugh at videos that are like the comedy stuff like like, I wrote a parody of Sweet Dreams called All the Neckos Are Meowing for Headpats. I think that one's okay. I made a video called Ministry of Off-Brand, Anomalous Anime. That's... It's its own brand. It's special, I guess. 
Heck, at one point I made a video called A Angry Creepy Tree Screeches at You While Spewing Pasta at You. It's... I tried to do an impression of Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle. I mean, I'm sure you could just go to my channel and type in Welcome to the Jungle. It'd probably come up. It's very high-pitched and annoying because I'm trying to sound like Axl Rose and I don't have the skills to do that. So, it hurts the ears. As any of my singing or me just generally talking does. But then again, it's not just the tone of my voice that's probably annoying all of you. One, I'm annoying in general what I talk about. Also, I'm extremely boring, so that's weird. Like, I, I'm annoying you, but also I'm not talking about anything interesting. I'm a boring son of a bitch, and I'm just, I'm a monster, and I'm a complete piece of shit. Beyond that, I also I say horrible, mean things, or perhaps have controversial opinions. All right, the Ministry of Off-Brand thing. I wanted to suggest an anime. It's, or, well, actually, it's a manga, because it's never going to get made into an anime. Like, there was an anime out there that was very controversial. It's called Redo of a Healer. And people were very offended at that anime because it had a lot of violence. And I'll say this. There was a manga out there called... And here's the thing. It's got, like, different names for it. So I've, I've seen bits and pieces. I really haven't been able to actually fully read it myself. But apparently there's some old names. Like, the main name is the hero who craves... The strongest hero who craves revenge... Extinguish in darkness. But there's times where it can be changed to the Zodiac Brave. Or Exterminate in Darkness. Or the laughing hero who walks the path of vengeance a second time. But the main thing is the strongest hero who craves revenge. Extinguish in Darkness. As long as my memory kind of functions, kind of, I will put a link to the Ministry of Off-Brand video and to, I think there's somebody on the internet that talks about the one manga thing. I'll try to put, share that if I remember. May, it'll be in the description if I don't forget. But yeah, I, I like suggesting animes to people. I like watching new animes. But like, I tried to play SCP Container Breach, and it's just like, I just like, oh, run away from Peanut Man. Oh, there's something to read on the wall. Oh, I, it's just like, you stop to read. I'm like, we're supposed to be running from the monster, but, like, I want to read the lore. It's like, I can't, I, I, I want to read the lore first. Can I, can, and then he can't, like, I, I, can you wait for me? I want to read this first, and then I want to read the next thing. I'm just saying. There are at least a thousand things that I'm going to say that will be offensive to each person on the planet. It doesn't matter who you are. There will be something I will say in one video or another that will greatly offend you. It's like I'm South Park, but I'm not funny. That's the best comparison there. I am South Park. But I'm stupid. That's basically what this amounts to. It's like how each episode of South Park is like the most offensive bullshit in the world. But here's the thing. At least South Park is well written. And has a script. And is funny. And is entertaining. I am none of those things. I am just a random crazy guy on the internet. Rambling at his computer. Saying things that are offensive. That's the thing. I am the most cringiest person on the internet. I am the most offensive person on the internet. I am the most cursed person on the internet. I am the most boring person on the internet. And I am the most annoying person on the internet. Then again, I mean, honestly, nobody would have actually sat here and listened to this video this long. One, no one's even going to find this video, but even if you did, you're, no one's actually going to listen this far to the video. I still haven't done any of the things that the video says I'm going to do. Because... I guess I get distracted. I'm sorry. I'll tr In the future, Super Meat Boy videos with the hot sauce, I will try not to be distracted. I, I, I will try really hard, okay? 
I can't just say like, oh, I'm gonna fail. Like, no, I want to try to succeed at the thing. Now, here's the thing. The best way to describe me as a person, my personality. I'm not gonna talk about the way I look because body image issues. But as far as my actual personality, my personality can be best described as a Batara earring fusion from Dragon Ball Z of Sailor Moon and Yusuke Urameshi. My personality can be best described as a Batara earring fusion of Astolfo and Jack Hanma. My personality can be best described as a Dragon Ball Z Batara earring fusion of Krona from Soul Eater and Bash the Stampede from Trigun. By the way, I went to see a chiropractor. I'll do it again like next Friday because my back still hurts like a bitch. But here's the thing. A surprise, like He wasn't able to crack my back a single time. And it still fucking hurts. But here's the thing. Every time he attempted, and it surprised the fucking hell out of me the first time it did. Like, it, I was expecting to hear a crack noise, which of course there was no crack noise because he couldn't get my back to crack. But I meowed. I made cat noises. And I'm like, what? Because I, I, I wasn't expecting that. And thankfully, during the whole thing, he did not say anything about it because it was embarrassing enough as it was. Because one, it surprised the hell out of me. And two, it was really, really, really embarrassing. And after the first one, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try with all my might to force myself not to make any noise at all. I fucking failed that so fucking hard. Like, every time he tried to make an adjustment, I just started meowing and making various cat noises. And I, w I didn't want to. And I was trying really, really hard to not make any noise at all. And yet I'm basically almost yelling meows. The fucking hell! That is so fucking embarrassing. At this point, I feel like I'm worried like the guy has to see your camera in the chiropractor office. And I'm just going to like see myself post on World Star! Man meows! While getting chiropractic adjustments. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Shit. That's so embarrassing. But it's like, why the fuck? And I was trying so hard not to make any noise at all. And it's just like, my body's like, nope, you don't have a say in this. We're meowing. I'm like, but but I don't want to. It's, 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 it's embarrassing. But no, just I just kept meowing and making various weird... And here's the weird thing. In the car, while I was driving, I was trying to imitate the tones I was doing. Because I'll say this. The types of meows and cat noises I made are noises I've never made in my entire fucking life. And I was like, okay, while I'm driving, you know, to get to go to the gas station and so stuff, I'm trying to like copy those noises to see if I can reproduce them. Fucking no! Whatever those noises are, those are involuntary fucking noises. And I'm like, I have never made those noises before in my life. So yeah, I'm actually a little worried about Like let's say if I I'm just saying, what other things am I going to make odd noises to now? Like, what about the next time I have sex? Am I going to start meowing and making cat noises and purring and shit during fucking sex? It's like, how does that work? Why do I make cat noises now? And that's one thing, like, yes. I basically, at some point, going to make a VTuber model. I won't probably use it very often. Uh, right now, it's just sort of like, I'm not doing much of it. It's kind of like the Japanese language. I don't even know the hiragana yet. But, yeah, I'm a Neko. Two-fifths Femboy Neko, three-fifths Eldritch Abomination. <sighs> Let's try the official hot sauce of UFC. Louisiana <laughs> Great. I can't fucking open! There we go. Okay. Oh, it's got a little paper thing here. 
Let me take a drink of my wumpa fruit. <sighs> Went from... Can't... Alright, I should read the ingredients. Ingredients. Vinegar. Aged cayenne pepper. Sea salt. Red habanero. Celery, garlic, and canola oil. Refrigerate after opening. Shake well. Preservative free. Gluten free. Lot number 73. Best before 2025. J.A. It's January 20th? Made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. Barcode is 6 and lines and 27843 lines 86631 lines 2. Um, 36 servings per container. Serving size 1 teaspoon. 5 milliliters. Calories 10. Everything's basically zero. It's got 150 milligrams of sodium. Um, it says one gram of tar carbohydrates, but it's like, I don't know. It's got 50 milligrams of potassium, 0.2 milligrams of iron. And now I'm starting to fall asleep again. Okay. Let's try to open this. The next five hours, Lunar G8 spends just trying to open a fucking bottle. Okay, we got it open. Let's put this over here. Right, we should shake it. So first, let's put the cap back on. We will shake. Okay. Now we'll take the cap back off and smell it. it smells good. It smells like what I would normally smell from any Louisiana hot sauce, which I mean, it's supposed to be Louisiana style hot sauce, so that's appropriate. Well, look, we have the cat back on because, you know, I'm not going to be completely fucking reckless. We have to have, I will say this, it's got a nice color looking at it through the bottle, so the name I can't pronounce, Poyers or something. I'm looking forward to when Overlord Season 4 can be on DVD. Okay, I'm just going to have the spout on. The cap's on, the spout's open. I'm just going to flip it over and squeeze it and squirt it in my mouth. I shouldn't have squirted it so hard! Take two! Why did you do more?! Oh my god! The house is warmer! Pretty sure I didn't turn on the heat. I have the windows fucking open. It's so warm. It's gonna be summer. It's fucking... It's like, what, mid-April or some shit? The 15th, 16th? I don't know. Where's my phone? It's, it's open. Okay. What? It's either 15th or 16th. It's, it's sad. It is Saturday morning at 6.15 Eastern Standard Time. I think it's April 15th. Okay, I'm going to enjoy this sauce later. Or at least since I'm going to be making hot sauce videos, I'm probably just going to put it in the fridge after I record this video. But this is fucking delicious. P-O-R... I can't even spell right. P-O-I-R-I-E-R -I -I -E apostrophe S. Yes. Why are you bothering saying the name? Just say, like, apparently, like I said, this is... This Louisiana style hot sauce by Dustin Poyer x HeartbeatHotSauce.com, like a flaming fucking diamond here. It's on the back. It says medium. It says you know there's mild, medium, hot, and extra hot. And it you know it it says this one's a medium. I'll say this. It's fucking perfect. One, the amount of spice for actual. Cause here's the thing. I like when it comes to spice. I like spice. But here's the thing. I don't like certain mixtures of things. For example. I like spicy foods. I also like chocolate. But I don't like spicy chocolate. It fucking ruins both things. You ruin the spice and you ruin the chocolate. Get the fuck out! But. 
Separately, chocolate is delicious. There was one time I tried a soft serve dark chocolate ice cream from Godiva. It was delicious. It was so fucking good. And of course, I like very spicy things. But here's the thing. While I will try spicy things that are way, way, way too spicy, the things I will come back to are things that are they have an amazing flavor and are just spicy enough that they can burn a bit, but they don't take away from the flavor of the food. Like this is the sort of thing you can have like a bunch of egg rolls and you pour it on there. You can still taste the egg roll and you can taste the amazing flavor of the pepper. Like it's so strong and so good and it's perfect. Poyers, the Louisiana style hot sauce, the official hot sauce of UFC. You are the best hot sauce I have ever had in my life. And like I said, this one's medium. I know other people might like less spice or more spice. There's probably other variations of this. But I will say this. This medium is perfect. I don't want it any less spicy or any more spicy. This is the perfect amount of heat. This is the exact amount of spice that is perfect for this. And here's the thing. One problem I have with some of the hot sauces is that they're way too thin. This And some are way too thick. Like sriracha is like a paste. I'm not knocking sriracha, I'm just saying it's hard to use sometimes. And then your traditional Louisiana hot sauce, that just your normal everyday generic one, is like super thin, like Worcestershire sauce. Again, both are still delicious. But I prefer this. This is like, it's got the perfect taste, it's got the perfect consistency, and it's got amazing flavor. And here's the thing. The spice is spicy enough that it's awesome but here's the thing at no point with the flavor or especially the spice of this because here's the thing, that's the thing i dislike about some hot spices is that all you can taste is the spice or even then you can't taste the spice it just tastes burning because it's too fucking hot i want to enjoy my food i want the food to be delicious i want to enjoy my dining experience i'm fat for a reason i enjoy food and perhaps maybe use cheeseburgers as an antipsychotic. That being said, I enjoy ice cream. I enjoy pizza. I probably should try to eat healthier. Just saying. I also like tea. That, does that count? Does drinking tea occasionally count as being healthier? I don't know. I'm not a fitness person, even though I do try to go to the gym. I just do many things. I'm just saying, this hot sauce is delicious. I like to enjoy my food. And I feel like this hot sauce... This is the best hot sauce I've ever had in my fucking life. So yeah, Poyers, the official hot sauce of UFC. And you know what? Best hot sauce I've ever had in my life. This is fucking delicious. This is... this it, It's the perfect amount of spice. But here's the thing. The flavor. It's so good. This is so delicious. This is so fucking good. This is this is delicious. It's fucking awesome. That is that is in real life, that is the hot sauce I'm suggesting to people. That is the hot sauce I'm going to be keeping in my fridge at all times. So that if anyone's like, yeah, not a good hot sauce I can try? Yes, yes, I fucking do. Granted, I usually have multiple different types of stuff that I haven't got around to yet. Like I usually try different seasoning and stuff, but that I that is going to be a permanent fixture in my fucking fridge, unless they ever stop selling it. But <coughs> that is fucking delicious. There will be a fucking bottle of that. There will be a bottle of that particular hot sauce in my fridge for the rest of fucking time. That is fucking delicious. That is the most delicious, perfect hot sauce I have had in my entire life. That is fucking awesome. Okay. You know what, G Fuel? You got false advertising here. It says on the screen, I haven't finished your can yet, but it says here, extreme focus. Focus is the only thing I am not doing. There is no focus here. <sighs> okay. Let's hop into Super Meat. Is OBS recording? Double check OBS. Is it?
Yes. Uh... Okay, an hour in, we're actually going to play the video game. <coughs> I had to spit up a little mucus. I'm sorry. If you can hear that, I'm actually not sorry. I'm going to blow my nose. Yes, I'll take the headset off first. Take him a drink. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Start game. Since this is the, um... Because I know it's got different, like, Doom level difficulties and stuff. Maybe I should play, like, some Doom games. Or games in the genre of Doom. Not that many good at it, just... be kind of fun. So... I probably get past level one due to one my skill and lack of well paying attention. How do I do I have to use a mouse for this part? Hmm. How do I Um nothing's moving. Uh okay, just had to load? Nope. There we go. Why do I have to use the mouse for this part? We'll start at the easy one in future videos. Like the next video will go here. Well, there's six hot sauce bottles. Hmm. How about this? In this video, what I'll do is I'll play this one. And the next video, I'll flip a coin. And if it's heads, we'll go to the next difficulty. And with every subsequent video, regardless of if we got that roll that made it go further, I'll then give it twice. Like, for example, the next in the third video, I'll flip the coin twice. If it's heads either time, we go to the next difficulty. So by, like, video five, we're, like, flipping the coin five times. And if it go, well, actually, that's six, video six. So if video six, we'd be flipping the coin five times. And if it turns up heads even one of those five times, then, so one, we'll be making the, we'll go to the next difficulty setting. So, at that point, we got guaranteed. Hey, guys, remember Legacy of Kane, the whole flipping a coin thing? Like, technically, if you take a, your standard American nickel and you flip it, there is actually a one in 6,000 chance that it will land perfectly on its side. Anyway, so I have six bottles, five because that's how we'll do that. So we may get to Nightmare by video 5, or not, but I mean, there's at least a good chance we won't get the heads at the very one, so, but we might not have to go to full nightmare, which, you know, isn't really necessary because we'll struggle before then. Um, also, we've managed to beat a whole level without dying a single time, without having to use hot sauce, and we'll just go straight to the next difficulty anyway. Um, yeah, let's just hop into this, I guess. Okay, end of the unknown. Humble beginnings. Okay. Don't really remember how to play the game, though. Right, I probably should have practiced it. Ah! Ah! Okay. Normally, I like watching these because I'm like, I want to watch all the failed attempts, but. We're supposed to be trying not to have any failed attempt. I'm pushing the A button. What? What? There? What? There was a nice level here, but the editor can't put it up. So am I somewhere? Oh. Okay, so the level is broken. What? The fuck? What? What was this even called? What? What am? Oh, I can't see this. This isn't. How is this the easiest? Um. Uh. 
Hello? What? What? Hey, I... Okay. You, what? Congratulations, you have completed a great game. Improve the justice of our culture. Now go and rest our heroes. Um... Uh oh! I'm on the letter Y. I'm supposed to get to the exclamation point. This is... How is this on the easiest difficulty? This is... Ah! What the fuck, man? Ah! Here we start on the Owen. Congratulations. The fuck? Uh, this is the easiest difficulty. What is this? Ah! Fuck. I don't even know where I was supposed to jump there. Let's shake our Rick and Morty red pepper hot sauce. Ah, okay. Let's actually give this a smell. Tabasco. That smells like Tabasco sauce. Huh. Okay. Okay. I feel like there should be a line in here so I can tell how far is half a shot glass. But yeah, it smells like Tabasco sauce. Okay, bottoms up. Very slight amount of heat. Yeah, it's a very slight amount of heat. I can taste a little bit on the back of my tongue. I mean, all the heat from the previous hot sauce had already dissipated and been gone, so it's not like... Yeah, it's more like an aftertaste of heat. It definitely smells like a Tabasco sauce. It has a slight taste of a Tabasco sauce, but it doesn't taste like any Tabasco sauce I've ever tried. Not really, I would say almost like a, it's, it, it tastes like you have a little bit of Tabasco and maybe a hint of Sriracha, but there's also some other, something else I taste there that's not either. I'd say the closest comparison would be to like a Tabasco type sauce. But, yeah, it's just... It's okay. It's 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 a hot sauce, I guess. It's one. It's it's a barely noticeable spice. You don't really even notice it hardly at all. Maybe an aftertaste of it, and like it's a slight taste of Tabasco, but not really. Honestly, I don't really like it. I don't really like this hot sauce, but it, it, it is a hot sauce, so it, it is, I guess. But yeah, I just... Where am I supposed... Oh, I, I gotcha. But yeah, I just... 
really? This hot. Again, this is on the easiest difficulty. Okay, I'm. This makes me worry about the when we do the videos, the higher difficulties. Really? <laughs> come, come on, this is the easiest difficulty and we're doing this poorly. Come on, shenanigans. Next level. Abandoned saw blade F. This is level one. This does not look like a level one. Okay, shot glass number two. I don't think I understand how much is half for... Bottle's empty! I have emptied the bottle. So, I guess a double shot glass holds 1.5 ounces at least, because this is me pouring it halfway two times, and my bottle is now empty. So much for doing three shots when there's only two shots. Well, yeah, double shots of two. Did taste a little more heat on it that time, but still not much. Um, yeah. So, huh? That doesn't really. Let's go ahead and you know what? If I can only do two shots. Let's just do the whole challenge set today. So, I'll try to pour smaller shots because I don't want my digestive system to hate me later. All oh, right, they each have that little black wrapper thing on them. It's gonna be a... Give me a moment. I'm gonna go grab a knife. So I opened the other bottle downstairs. I'll put some different music on for you guys. Okay.
Okay, I got the knife to open the other bottles, but right now we're gonna have a little intermission. Cause I'm gonna use some ice cream. And ice cream. Ah, I dropped it. Damn it. There's a little chocolate stuff on it. So. I can pick this up. Yeah, ice cream cone. I was going to say, like, this is the intermission of just me talking about other things, but, you know, it's kind of hard to... I don't have telepathy, so I can't really... Again, would telepathy work with electronics, or is that considered a separate power? There we go. That's enough of the paper off. I should eat my ice cream. You know it's pretty good. I know I was talking about this stuff earlier. There are people that play like say Lincoln Park or Metallica, like Call of Cthulhu, on a harp guitar. That's pretty good. Or on a straight up harp. Like there's these people called the Harp Twins. They play uh, One by Metallica or Fade to Black or Brave New World. They play those things. Or Fear. No, they play Fear of the Dark. They play Fear of the Dark by Iron Maiden on. That's good. I would definitely say type in Harp Twins and then one by Metallica and there's, you know, basically there's two beautiful women that are playing one by Metallica on a harp and they do such an amazing job. But they also play Fade to, not to, well Fade to Black too, but also um, Fear of the Dark. That That's a really, Fear of the Dark is a really great Iron Maiden song. You know what's cool? There are some songs that have like like it, some people worry it does kind of kill the progression of the song. Like first, if you want to like listen to it on loop or something, or try. but it's good for certain songs that don't have as many. Ice cream. Yeah, like take "Brave New World" by Iron Maiden. There's like a two-minute segment at the start of the of the song. Where it's the music pattern is different, but it's amazing. And then you go da 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 do 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 with the actual guitars later, but you know actually being more metal sounding. But the intro to Brave New World dun 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 yeah I can't I can't do it. I'm just saying, listen to Brave New World by Iron Maiden. The start of that is it's awesome. I like that intro part more than I do the rest of the song. Then again, there's certain stuff by Pantera that I think is awesome. And, heck, a lot of the old school Black Sabbath. Granted, the Ozzy stuff's great too, but I like listening to a lot of the original Black Sabbath stuff. Like, that's really cool. Heck, at one point I did a terrible karaoke version of uh, uh, NIB, but that one lyric, like, My name is Lunar D8. Please take my hand. You know, ice cream. Ah, so good. But yeah. Listen to Iron Maiden, Brave New World. That's amazing. Heck, there's this woman that is very pretty. And she plays a hurdy gurdy. Very interesting instrument. Anyway. She does lots of like either full covers or like really cool riffs from like a number of like bands, like whether Lincoln Park, Rammstein, Metallica, Judas Priest, and so on and so forth. But oh, speaking of Judas Priest, I strongly suggest out of Judas Priest, granted, this is not one of the songs she does. Like she does five songs that are like Evil Eye and stuff like that, but um but yeah, back to her. Um Shit. I'm, I'm trying to stay focused, because I'm trying. Ah, uh, fuck. 
It's, it's so hard to stay focused. I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying. It's my best. Um, fuck, 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 fuck. Right. The hurdy gurdy. Um, she. One of the videos I would really recommend is one well, of the Metallica ones. Really good too. But she does a thing with it's it's five riffs by the band Gojira. That's it's like the band is Gojira. Good band, but her hurdy gurdy, you know, rendition of five of the riffs from it, it's absolutely awesome. Then again, it also reminds me, this guy who makes comedy videos. He's also really good at guitar and stuff, but he's got two videos I can think of right now. There's one, like, Gent for Beginners and Gent Dictionary. Like, ones he's like, Today in the Oxford Dictionary, Gent, 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 and he's just like, and then it's like, where he's got a like rhythm thing, he's still flashcards, like, HOT DOG! I can't remember any other things, it's been while to watch the video. I'll probably watch it later. It's, it's hilarious. I feel like there's a limit to how many things I could probably like put in the description. It's gotta, like, I, I don't know. But, I'll try to put a link to his stuff in the video, just because it's really funny. And I want to share. So I'll put two links to my shit. Right? No, one of the other things is also not me. It's the, the manga thing. Ministry of Off-Brand, that's me. Okay. I'm sorry I can't focus. I'm I'm trying my best. Ice cream. Sorry, spaced out thinking about how delicious the ice cream was. Yes, I also have this jug of water. Okay, more ice cream. Pink Floyd's also really good, but I feel like Pink Floyd's the kind of music you just want to chill and relax to. I feel like if I put that on, I would just sort of like space out and forget I'm even making a video. And it's like, yeah, Lunar DA just stopped talking. He just... And it's weird, because I, I don't do drugs or anything. I don't, I've never smoked anything in my life. But I enjoy, you know, the music that's associated with the culture. Because I think it's awesome and it's really relaxing. Then again, I also enjoy listening to nightcore music too. I don't know what that's like. I think that's just just awesome music everybody enjoys. If you haven't heard of nightcore music, um, Alice, there's nightcore music of just about everything. Just heck, there's Five Nights at Freddy's songs. That's basically nightcore music. They're both awesome, so. Still say that one UFC hot sauce, the best hot sauce I have ever had in my life. It is delicious. Now here's saying Rick and Morty challenge. That is my challenge to you. I'm trying your six hot sauces today in this video. So here's my thing to you. One of them better be delicious. And I mean delicious enough to dethrone the UFC hot sauce as the best hot sauce I have ever had in my life. I probably shouldn't eat the cone because that would be annoying to have for you guys to hear me eating the cone. As I've proceeded to eat the ice cream, I'm like, the ice cream's really soft. It's not like I'm making crunching noises. Though now it's just getting more inappropriate because in order to avoid crunching the cone, I'm now shoving my tongue as far as possible up the hole to get all the ice cream. 
I am now eating out my ice cream cone into a microphone. So, my effort to make it not annoying by not crunching a mic. Eh, might as well crunch it anyway. my wampa fruit. Did I even try this level? Where? Oh. For some reason, I thought I was down there. Well, not that the coin thing's having any impact on anything anymore because we're not following the rules anymore. But let's flip a coin just to see what I get. Tails. It's a quarter, by the way. It's. Some sort of special quarter. United States, America, quarter, dollar. Bessie Coleman. Oh, it's the, the woman who did the thing with the airplane way back when. Sorry, I don't remember all the aviators. I mainly remember the Wright brothers. Cause it's the first people. It's like I'm an asshole with the astronaut stuff. Like, oh, we all remember, you know, there's Neil Armstrong and... Um, Buzz Aldrin... But there was a third guy there, at least. I don't remember his name. You guys could look that up, I guess. That's yeah, a 2023 20, quarter. No wonder it's so damn shiny. Cool. There's a, there's a date under here, too. But it's so small, I can't read this number. I'm assuming it says 1929, 21, 29. I can't read it. The, the words are too small. Okay. But that's cool. Al 5. The fuck is this shit? Does this hurt me? Background. What? That doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Fuck you. Son of a bitch! I will say this. I would like to play Super Mario World if it's ever on Steam. I'm at least giving some fucking son of a bitch consideration to um, getting an emulator, but I'm still mainly against it. But if like it was ever on Steam... I would definitely get it. I don't know, are there good platformers on Steam that you would get? Heck, good games of any genre. Like I said, I don't care if the game's hard or easy. I just want it to be fun. That's my main criteria. I want to have fun. Fuck you! <sighs> Auto Boy, sample one. Uh, 
Yay! That feels appropriate for the difficulty I have selected. Yeah. Ah! Thought that was background. How do I... Is that background there? Does that hurt me? I can't jump off an angle? That hurt... But what am I supposed to do? Can I even make that jump? That's... I don't think that's a doable thing. Uh... Solid stone. What am I... Is there a hole here? Game. This also seems... I don't know. What do you want me to do? Hey, here's a G. Oh, right! Judas Priest. Um, out of the Judas Priest songs, there's a song that also does the same thing Brave New World from Iron Maiden does, where like the intro is a different... Like, but it's awesome. But I think it's the best part of the song. I like the, the first part of Brave New World is the best part of the song. It's the part I like most. Same way. The band Judas Priest. There is a song called Cathedral Spires. So Judas Priest, Cathedral Spires. The intro to that is fucking awesome. I cannot suggest it highly enough. Okay. Wait, did we skip one? I'm not sure. Hello? Oh, that's a saw blade. Um, no. Now five. Didn't it say two earlier? I don't know if I played that. It looks very similar to something else. Hyper power. Oh, I should check the Mark Street and Church Inch Drink. Okay, I am a uh, first boss of Level Warrior. Lasers. Their instant death. I don't feel like playing with level anymore. Gives you hell. Hello? Oh, it fully submerges too. No. It's like, guys! <laughs> Lunar D8's giving up on the easiest difficulty setting levels! The fuck's gonna happen when we get to the harder ones? What am I? Am I a Pokemon? Do I have a limited amount of time I can live in lava? I... What? What? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I have no clue. Russia 2. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? We're getting to the point I probably should try the hot sauce. Like, I think I've died more than, well, zero times since the- OH MY FUCKING GOD! Ah! Oh, that's a hole! Ah! 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 That's still a hole! Fuck you! Keep forgetting that's not a platform. Fuck you! Ah! Ah! Shut it, Oh, thought those would. Do I just like run really fast? Wee! Why is everything shaking now? Am I on a time limit to get back? Fuck you, off wall bullshit! Wee! 
Yay! Okay, don't go too far. Ah! Dicks. going down here? Oh, there's a key right there. It's called look before you leap. You Silly, silly person. Um... Why don't you come to me? I don't want to... Do this the other way. Ah! Damn it! Fuck! No. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> no. Okay, let's try our next hot sauce. If I can get it out of the plastic. Ah! Ah! Fuck! Oh my god, I'm gonna pull a fucking muscle. My arm! It's like, I feel like my left tricep is like, fuck you! I'm like, ah! It's like, it shouldn't be physically painful to remove your hot sauce! Okay. Shake it. Use the knife. Carefully. Come on. Fuck you. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Shake it. Okay, this is a habanero hot sauce. Okay, read the back. Habanero hot sauce. Water, red chili, salt, garlic, carrot, Habanero powder, onion, acetic acid, citric acid, xanthan gum, concentrated chili extract, potassium sorbate. And me just throwing the box too far. At least I can still reach it. Okay. It has... It, it's habanero hot sauce. It has a picture of Mr. Meeseeks here. Yes, my underwear is covered in mushrooms. It's like psychedelic mushroom stuff. It's... I'm trying to think of where I bought it from. It's either from a Spencer's or a Hot Topic. Okay. But yeah, enough about that. I think I'm also wearing a Rick and Morty t-shirt. So. But I'm drinking out of a hentai shot glass. Okay, so. Mr. Meeseeks Habanero Hot Sauce. Let's open this and give it a smell. It... It smells like the first hot sauce, but with a hint of a smell of habaneros. Okay. It's like, whoa, where's my shot glass? Just look for the hentai. Okay. On. I'll say this. One, there is considerable amount more heat on this. I would say it's at least ten times as spicy as the previous hot sauce, the red pepper one. It's not... I would say it's not as spicy as the UFC one. Now, as far as flavor, I'd say it's mainly the same flavor as the the first red pepper sauce of the Rick and Morty challenge set, but I would say 
you can taste habanero. That's that's really the main thing. Like I can taste habanero and a little bit of carrot. So, yeah. But not overly spicy. But I'd say the UFC hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce, is. I'd say it's at least twice as spicy as that. Did I already play this one? I probably already did. Okay. That color hurts my fucking eyes. Nope, nope, fuck you. Rear window. Let's try the next difficulty, and you know what? Next death, we will... This just said the same... We just played it. Dribble for Evan. Uh... Dicks. That doesn't count. Where am I going? Obviously a key, some... Fuck. That doesn't count either. That's not working. Okay, next death, we will. Oh god! But why didn't it? It doesn't count. I pushed the jump. Nothing happened. What? Do I stick to things? I feel like this is. This is like the spike wall from Kid Chameleon. Why do I keep occasionally sticking? What am I supposed to do here? That doesn't look like it has any way to get through. Probably have to go up. Is it because the mouse is there on the screen? Just notice that. Is that fucking that up? Does that interfere with my... Nope, just... The ground is just... Garbage? Oh. Well. That doesn't count as a death, because we're not there anymore. Magic Sky Castle. The fucking hell is this? What? So I can't touch the walls? Yay! That, that's a win. Fine. Do our second. You know what? We're at least just sampling the flavors, right? I don't need to do the multiple shots. So, I don't need to finish the whole rest of the fucking bottle like I did with the first fucking one. It's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna limit myself to three shots! Two shots in. Bottle's empty. <laughs> Great. Put it back in the fucking plastic. Nope, nope, fuck that. Okay. Apparently, once you pull it out of the plastic thing, it's just... Wow. Wait. Really? Emphasizing! The safety! Ah! Ow! <sighs> Del Fuego. Let's read the ingredients. Water, red chili... Salt, maltodextrin, garlic powder, acetic acid, citric acid, xanthan gum, chili powder, potassium sorbate. Okay. This one is... Ow, that fucking hurt. Okay, it's Del Fuego. Hot sauce. It's got a bug person on here from Rick and Morty. Let's try to open this up. I'll shake it first.
You know what's another really good band? Tool. Tool is a really good band. So is Perfect Circle. Though out of Perfect Circle, I definitely would strongly recommend the 13th Step album. Okay, let's open this up. Not really able to place a smell. Sriracha. It smells like sriracha. All right, let's flip a coin first. We're going to flip it twice. Tails? Heads. Okay. So, Dolfuego smells like sriracha. And it's a lot thicker. Not a single drop is coming. Okay, there we go. Wow, this is a lot thicker. It's actually really fucking thick. Okay. Let's go and put the cap back on this. Okay. I taste a very strong taste of onions and garlic, and I actually can tell the difference between the two of them. But definitely the garlic. Very strong taste of garlic. <coughs> it's like a spicy sriracha with smoke and so much fucking garlic. It's not bad, but fuck. I'd say it's, it's, it's spicier than the, the UFC one. So that's... Okay. Return to... I hate these guys that run really slow. Nope. The jump. Uh, what? 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 Oh god. I can't even jump that high. I don't know. Ah. Pink death. Um That's definitely going to be a fast one to do. Yeah, just want to flip the coins. Three times. Tails. Tails. Heads. Uh... Oh god! Uh, he, this character moves so slow. Um,
Oh my god, my eyes. What am I, Pickle Rick? Ah, dear god. Please make your levels aesthetically pleasing to my eyeballs. I probably shouldn't say that, because at that point... Oh, I want to be the guy. Because <laughs> at that point, it's just going to be a level full of hentai. I'm like, I mean, technically they're not wrong. <laughs> but I can't post it on YouTube. You know, considering the way this is, it's probably for the best that my computer couldn't boot up I want to be the guy. Given... That would never make it even to the first boss. Actually, I think I played it at some point in the past, like years and years before. Like a decade plus ago. I just don't really remember. Because that shit was like, oh god! I like the lighting effect of the lava. But I can't, uh, I can't make it that high, though. Am I supposed to go back? I don't know. Flip a coin again. Do it four times. Heads. Tails. 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 What? Didn't even see this. What am I supposed to do? I don't see a way to do anything. Limbo. Can you just like, give me a screen of aha gals in the background? Background hurts my eyes. Yeah. Huh. Ah, you dick! Double dicks. Dead tofu. Oh god! I can't run that fast! You gotta be running right from the start. Interesting level, though. It is probably the most interesting one in terms of just execute. Ah! Okay. Um, what am I doing? That's not a hole. That is a hole. That's gravity. Gravity, go fuck yourself. I mean, it is aesthetically pleasing, but I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. Oh god! Huh. Oh, 
that's right. Uh, well, this one doesn't count. Okay, let's try this one. Let's flip our coin. Well, this will be the last time we do the coin flips. Five coin flips. Heads. 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 Tails. Tails. What? Yeah. Drink some more energy drink. <sighs> the fragment. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Doesn't count. Didn't know what was going on. <clears throat> that jump might be possible. Oh, I got gotcha. you. That's This. Well, but better. Wow, I have to like be right up on it. That's gonna be the difficult to do. Say a man. Fuck mom! Mm! Mm! Thumb is that hurts. Why is playing this game hurting my thumb? <sighs> yeah, my thumb hurts. Well, you know what? Let's uh, try the next hot sauce. There we go. Ah, shake it. Great. I mean, I got it. Except for the cap spot, so will it still... Oh, no, just twist off there. All right, now it's... By the way, all the hot sauces up to now have been like a reddish color. Actually, that seems to be true of the other ones as well. So this is the only bottle that's a green color. It's a jalapeno hot sauce. Water, jalapeno, garlic, onion, salt, acetic acid, xanthagum, concentrated chili extract, potassium sorbate. Caramel color. It's got a picture of Rick and portals and portal gun. I'll give it a shake. I'm going to open this. Hold on. My nose seems to be a little. Let's leave a lower nose so I can actually. I'll take the headset off for a second. I'm back. Um, where did I? There it is. Shake it sauce again. I mean, I can smell jalapeno, but that's... I'll be honest, I only know it's jalapeno because it says it on the bottle. And because it's green. 
If it didn't tell me it was jalapeno, I might have... Tr I mean, I would, if I had smelled something, it's like, I'd probably be able to maybe place it, but I'm not sure. There we go, um, maybe. Okay. Put the cat back on that. We'll smell it again. I mean, I can smell it more when it's in the shot glass. It's a very, very green portal, I guess, portal in color hot sauce. Okay. <coughs> okay. Why I feel nervous about trying a hot sauce. And it's jalapeno, so it shouldn't be that garlic, I mean that spicy, right? Uh, That one's a little more pulpy, too. It also kind of tastes like pizza rolls. Kind of tastes like pizza rolls, a little bit of anchovy, but just a very strong taste of jalapeno. But it's a little bit pulpy too. It's yeah, it's not really super spicy. I mean, it's I'd say it's the amount of spice you would expect. Like, say if you were to let's say if you went to a Popeyes chicken and bought one of their jalapenos, those have a decent amount of spice to them. It's definitely a good flavor. I can definitely taste the jalapeno. Yeah, if anything, I'd say I'd drink a little inner drink. If I were to describe the taste, I would say yeah, just go to a Popeye's chicken and buy one of their jalapenos. I'm not saying it's not spicy. Like Those are pretty spicy uh, jalapeno peppers they sell. But, I mean, that's what it is. It tastes... It tastes like you're eating jalapeno pepper. It just, there were some other flavors, like a pizza roll and anchovy in there too, which is an interesting little take on it. And I'm not saying Popeye's tastes like that. I'm just saying, imagine that you ate a Popeye's chicken jalapeno, but then you also ate some pizza rolls and an anchovy. It's not bad. It's definitely a unique flavor. I'm going to change the music, okay guys? Hold on. Ugh. Oh.
Okay. Next hot sauce. Shake it. This one is smoking chipotle hot sauce. Ingredients are water, red chili, salt, chili, poultry powder, maltodextrin, acetic acid, onion, garlic, natural smoky flavor, citric acid, xanthan gum, caramel color, potassium sorbate. It's got a picture of some Mr. Meeseeks and some something green. That's I guess is an alien monster, I guess. Whatever. Let's go and open this up. Yeah, it smells like chipotles. It definitely smells like a chipotle pepper. Okay. Cat back on. Hardly any spice. I'd say even less than the first one. It's got a much better flavor than what the first one was. But really, none of these hot sauces so far would actually be one I would actually suggest to anybody. I will say this. This one definitely tastes very strongly of chipotle peppers. I mean, as is, it's a, it's a, it says smoky chipotle hot sauce, and I'll say this, there is at least a spice there. There is flavor. You can definitely taste, you can definitely taste the chipotle pepper, so you can definitely immediately place this, the taste. It is distinctly a chipotle pepper. And you can also taste all the smoke, too. So it's, the flavor is exactly as advertised. But it's just not really, I don't know, I've never been a really big chipotle pepper person. 
I've never really just cared for the taste that much. But it it's not it's not bad. It's just not my cup of tea, okay? Earl Grey is pretty nice. So is the puree. Well. Probably should drink teas with less caffeine. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see, what energy drink? Yeah, it's not bad. Let me alter the music slightly. But yeah, I'll say this. If you like a smoky hot sauce, if you like chipotle peppers, then that hot sauce is perfect for you. Again, these enemies remind me of those uh, rolling gravel dudes that are in the kitchen. I can't really jump with the shit, this character. But, yeah. Like I said, the smoky chipotle one, I mean, I'll say this. If you really like hot lepe... Uh, but, like, let me, like, try to go through these different sauces again real quick. The red pepper one is just, honestly, you're better off just getting Tabasco sauce. Um, I mean, let's be clear. I mean, it's interesting to try this, but I'll say this. The red pepper sauce, you're better off just getting Tabasco sauce. Just your normal run-of-the-mill Tabasco sauce. Your habanero sauce. Oh, actually, I would just say, get the UFC hot sauce. That's delicious. I still say that UFC hot sauce, it's the best. It is the most perfect hot sauce. Great, I have the medium one, but that that, that the official hot sauce, the UFC, is, is the most delicious hot sauce I've ever had in my life. But yeah, as far as the Rick and Morty ones, I mean, they're okay. They're hot sauces. I mean, I just wanted to try what was red pepper one. Just, just get a, just get Tabasco. The habanero sauce, like you can just get any habanero hot sauce from a Walmart, you probably do better. Del Fuego, just get sriracha. Jalapeno, again, your average run-of-mill jalapeno hot sauce would be better. Now the smoky chipotle, I'll say this: out of any smoky chipotle hot sauce, Rick and Morty probably gets it better than anyone else. So if you like smoky. Hot sauces, if you like uh, chipotle peppers, then this one's actually perfect for you, and you absolutely must try it. And I'll say this, I'm not trying to knock the Rick and Morty stuff, like, I would suggest you guys try it as long as, you know, you like spicy foods. But it's just, it's not really, it's not really, a, it's not my like, but it's something interesting. I, like I said, my other ear is itchy. Hold on. yeah, just the smoky chipotle one. If you like chipotle or smoky flavors, that's actually perfect for you. I would strongly suggest that one. If you like smoky hot sauces or chipotle peppers. I don't. I don't really care for them. I would definitely say just like that, the Poyeros, Louisiana style hot sauce. If you like hot sauces, this is a must for your fridge. It's, it's perfect. The most delicious hot sauce I have ever had in my entire life. I don't know if I ever played this level or not. <coughs> I went to burp and then tried to get a hot sauce came back. Up. So kind of choked a little bit. Sorry. Uh, huh. Why does this make me think of Super Mario's Lost Levels? What? I didn't want to jump that far! 
Really? I did it first. Fuck you. Why? I did it perfect the first time. Now I can't do it at all? Yeah, why would I even bother? Just fuck you, mother- Wasn't even trying to jump there. Let's just try to get- Fucking hell, man. Switch the music up. Let's open up the next hot sauce. Final one. At least that one's easier to get out. Diablo. Where's the knife? Come on! Diablo hot sauce. It's got like a big brain Marlboro. Final Fantasy 8 Monster. Open it up. I smell nothing. There is no smell. Try to smell it again from the shot glass like you've been doing. I smell nothing. Yeah, there's no smell. I don't taste anything. If anything, I'd say it tastes like the... Maybe I'd say it tastes like maybe a tiny bit spicier version of the very first hot sauce, the red pepper one. You know, the Tabasco-y sauce. I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's no flavor. Is that just what happens when you like drink hot sauces back to back? You just stop tasting them? Like is this because it's supposed to be the spiciest one out of all of them, right? I mean I would understand if I started with the spiciest one first, if I stopped being able to taste it as I went down, but there's I don't taste anything. I couldn't smell anything. And I couldn't taste it. That, I mean, I started with the more mild ones and went up to the hot ones, but I don't, yeah, I don't taste any spice at all. 
and I don't taste any spice at all. So, yeah, I don't I don't taste anything. Drink some of my energy drink though. So apparently it's supposed to help promote focus. But yeah, I. Why do I have two mouses? But I don't taste anything. I don't really taste any flavor. Like I said, I can taste a bit of the first one, but you know, like it's it's a similar flavor, I guess. You know, a little bit of red pepper-ish, you know, Tabasco stuff. But I'd say maybe if anything, it's maybe a tiny bit more flavor and more spice. Like so, I'd say the the Diablo one for me is tasting like, because you know how we started the red pepper one, the very start of the Rick and Morty set. I'd say the Diablo one for me is tasting like. It tastes like the very first one, the red pepper one, but just a little bit more spice and a little bit more flavor. But for the most part, the mild taco sauce from Taco Bell is spicier than what I'm tasting right now. It's just... It, it's there's There's really not much of a discernible taste or flavor or spice but I don't know if that's my own fault for just taking shot glass to shot glass to shot glass back to back to back of hot sauces like do you just lose the ability to taste hot sauces after multiple shot glasses of it does it, that's, is that how that works hold on I think I have to burp <laughs> sorry but yeah just I don't really I, I don't really taste it. It's not really much of a taste for me. I probably won't do very many of these. I think we're about to end the video. But yeah, it's I don't know, maybe I just, heck, maybe that screwed up my ability to like try one hot sauce before even chopping into these, but even then, it's just, I'll say this, the UFC hot sauce was absolutely delicious. The Apoyer or whatever it is, best hot sauce I've had in my entire life. Absolutely amazing. Salt Street. Um, this looks pretty familiar. It's actually a level that was on the easiest difficulty ones. I saw a couple others that were also... You know what? We're going to do one. I'm at least going to pick one that looks aesthetically okay. Got portals, I guess. What? But I didn't get the spikes. Huh. My back hurts like hell. Oh my god, now my eyes hurt like hell. Okay, so is Piccolo in this one? I'm an ice cream cone. Where am I going? again because my back is I don't even know what to do with this level. I 
I am feeling the urge to go to the bathroom. I suppose hot sauce would be... It crashed. We're going to call that a video. Bye.